When you click into the assignment, you're going to see two leaves and it's going to say make a scarecrow. Find the little smaller emoji with the leaves for make a scarecrow and click on that. When you would do that, do you see how it's opening it up? And then you're going to take the gray um, tool on the side and slide that down. And you're going to be able to see the yellow and white slides and you should see your name there as well. That's where we want you to click. When you click into the slides, it will look like this. Select where it says name at the top and go in and erase that. So you're going to click on that and then click the backspace button. It's up near your power button and you'll erase all the letters and then you're going to type in your name. When you're done, you just click off of there. Then you're going to need to click on the sky. I can tell the sky is selected because the blue squares are all along the outside of there. And then I'm going to change the color of the sky. So I think I'm going to try to make this a nighttime picture. So I'm going to go up to where I see a little paint bucket, click on there, and I might choose a dark gray sky. So now that I have my dark gray sky, I need to get rid of that sun. You can see that there's a sun and the moon in the sky. They're both there. So you can get rid of the one that doesn't make sense in your picture. So for me, I think I might want to get rid of a couple of these clouds, but I definitely don't want the sun to be in there. And I might move that one cloud down that's close to my name. So that's a little bit easier to read. And I'm using the arrow buttons to move things from side to side. The arrow buttons are on the right side of your keyboard and you can slide things around that way. You can click on the barn as well. If you click on what looks like the pencil tool, that's gonna change the outside color of something. So you can see that on that triangle that I had selected, I made the outside of it red. I'm gonna change it back to black. I'm gonna go into select maybe a light gray color for the roof for the barn you can change the color as well if you want to i might want to make that a little bit darker red than what it was originally and i might want to change the color of the door to be something different now we're going to start in with decorating the scarecrows to get the different pieces of the scarecrow you're going to have to slide up and down, but also looking to slide side to side if you don't see everything inside of your screen. To create the scarecrow, you're going to select some of these holes. So you may be able to make a whole little family of scarecrows, depending on where you put these. And you can make them smaller or bigger by clicking on the corner square and then moving them that way. Um, so this one had a number one by it, and now you're gonna look for where there is a number two. So there's a number two up here at the top. So you can see I'm using the gray tool on the side to go up to the top and here I can see all the different outfits for the scarecrow. I find the one that I like and I click on it and then I click and drag it onto my artwork. Now I'm gonna have to slide the gray tool back down again so that I can see where I want that to go so that it lines up with the pole. So I need to choose three. and I'm just clicking and sliding. If it's not in the right spot, I can use the arrow tool on my keyboard. Well, that looks kind of a lot like the barn. I'm gonna choose something different. There we go. Then I'll go back in and choose a head for each scarecrow. And you can see the head has a number three by it. And when I'm doing these little tiny movements, I'm using the arrows 
help me get it in the right spot. So now I'm looking for number four. So number four is these little facial features. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating my first one. With these eyes, I just move them up here. Whoops. If you find something gets um, messed up like that, like my eyes got too big when I was dragging them, you can use the backspace key. So that's up by where you turn your laptop on and off and it starts with a B. You could use the delete button, which is also by your power button, or you can go up here to this undo button here. And that's gonna undo the last thing that was there by clicking on those arrows. So it's undo and redo. And what I was trying to do is click on those right there, drag them up here to my artwork. Then I'm gonna use the arrows to help me get that into the right spot. So my arrows up, and then I'm putting it over. All you need to do is click away from it and then you can see the face without the blue lines there. I'm gonna find a little nose for my scarecrow. These pieces are very tiny so they're a little bit harder to hold on to. Whoops, stretched out again. I made a mistake so I'm pressing that backspace button and all I do is just go get another nose if that happens. When I'm moving it, I wanna have all four points of the arrow, and then it won't stretch out when I'm trying to move. Now I'm gonna use my little arrows going up, and over, over, over. And then I click on something else, and I can see I like where that nose landed. Then I'm looking for a mouth. Select it so that the arrow is got the four points. I carry my mouth up to there. Move that mouth around to where I want it. If it's not quite in the right spot, you can click it again. Move it with your arrows until it's right where you want it to be. So now my scarecrow is looking like this. There are some extras. This has a number five by it. I think I'm going to do little pigtails for this one. So I'm going to drag that one up. Place this on top of my scarecrow's head. Use those arrows to get it lined up just how I want it on top there. And then there are some extras as well. So there are things like pumpkins that you can put in the field and some crows. And you can use as many of these as you like inside of your picture. And you can resize these. So if I want to make a pumpkin that's really far away, I can squeeze it and make it a really tiny one and put it far, far, far away in my picture. So you're gonna wanna try to make a couple of scarecrows during our art time today.